that's why he's called Cliffhanger. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. In a never-ending quest to get off the cliff, Cliffhanger is reading his survival manual. Hey, what you reading? Must be good. Oh, it is. I've read it several times already. But each time, I discover something new. I love to relax with a book, especially after climbing all day. Uh, do you have any stories you could read to me? Sure. I have all kinds of good books. Here's one. Priceless Gifts by Shoshana Shankar. Once there was a very sad and lonely merchant named Sheldon. He lived alone and didn't have a single friend. Table for one, please. One day when Sheldon was eating all by himself, he overheard a rich merchant named Sharita telling a story. Last month, I sailed my ship to the kingdom of Shazam. Hello, King Shazam! My ship's filled with great stuff! Tell me what you need and I'll sell it to you! King Shazam needed shoes, shower curtains, shovels, shrubs, and sheep. But unfortunately, Sharita didn't have anything in her ship beginning with S-H. Oh, well, stay for dinner anyway. We're having shrimp. Sharita and King Shazam sat down to a lavish meal. But before they could even taste a shrimp, mice started eating everything in sight. King Shazam tried shooing the mice away. Shoo! Shoo! He tried shaking a stick at them. He even tried shimmying. Woo! Yeah, baby! Shake it! Shake it! But nothing worked. Have you tried getting a cat? King Shazam didn't know what a cat was. He had never even seen one before. So Sharita got two cats from her ship. I don't believe it. They chased all the mice away. Those cats are fantastic. You can have them. I've got tons of cats on my ship. King Shazam was so grateful for this gift, he showered Sharita in gold and jewels. When Sheldon heard this story, he decided that he too would sail to the kingdom of Shazam. Oh, if Sharita got all those jewels and gold for two cats, imagine what I'll get if I give the king all those things he asked for. Uh, check, please. So, Sheldon filled his ship with shoes, shower curtains, shovels, shrubs, and sheep, and sailed to Shazam. Hi, King Shazam. I'm Sheldon, a merchant. I was just passing by, and I wondered if you needed anything? Well, what I could really use is... Shoes, shower curtains, shovels, shrubs, and sheep. Hmm? Why, yes, that's exactly what I need. I've got them all right here. In fact, I'll give them to you. King Shazam was so grateful for all these gifts, he said he would give Sheldon something in return. Something priceless. Oh, will it be a hundred jewels, a thousand, a million? I wonder if I'll need a bigger ship. Behold your priceless gift. That's it? It's called a cat, and it chases mice. It's much more valuable than all the jewels in Shazam. Oh, shucks.
back on his ship, Sheldon was sadder than ever before. He had sailed across the world and hadn't gotten a single jewel. But then the cat jumped up onto his shoulder and purred, and Sheldon felt a very strange feeling. He felt happy, for King Shazam had indeed given Sheldon a priceless gift. He had given him a friend. The end. And that's the end of the story. Thanks so much. That was terrific. Hey, now that I've read you a story, could you do me a favor? Of course. Oh, could I borrow your ladder? Is this the moment Cliff has been waiting for at last? Is this the moment we've all been waiting for? You know, that story gave me a brilliant idea. That's wonderful. What is it? Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. You deserve much more than an old ladder. For reading me such a good story, you deserve a priceless gift. But, but... And that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Can't hold on much longer.